Hi! In this episode I will show you how to build a simple afterburner effect with simple materials. Enjoy the video! An excellent base kit for building a highly detailed model. However, there is no figure in sight. Again. This piece is the most important piece of the diorama. You will see why. The exhaust nozzles are designed as closed. I start by drilling these. And now let's get the most important part. No, not the canopy. It's frame. I separate this long side piece by cutting side at the corners. Smooth and polish both ends. As you can see the light enters at the one end and exits directly at the other. I make the shiny and smooth surface by mud and sanding it because I aim for the light to disperse and illuminate the entire piece. Like this. By tapering one end I make it the end point of the exhaust flame. Now back to the aircraft build. I don't have enough time to make this video by this weekend, so I will keep all the steps simple with the aircraft. This is the method of building a simple pilot figure that I showed in detail in the previous video. You can find the link in the description. This is how I built the strut that will hold the model up. I want to use the socket method for lightning. If I fix the LEDs, if something goes wrong during construction, it will be very difficult to repair. I simply build the sockets using copper foil. This wire is a coated copper wire. I'm sure you will find a more elegant solution. As you know, I use balsa as wood material. Yes, it's expensive, but it's actually cheaper as simple and cheap materials are enough to process it.
This is the only glue I can trust to hold the model. It's almost impossible to remove once it dries. I simply apply the decals, paint the Daft Punk members and complete the cockpit. In the meantime, let's prepare the LEDs. Yes, I could use colored LEDs, but it does not give the same effect. Manipulating white light gives better results. I did not disassemble the LEDs I installed for testing until the assembly work was completed. And I tested them after each stage to make sure they are working. Let's build the base. For this I will use a balsa and a plexi sheet. I only paint one side of the plexi sheet. This surface will remain on the bottom side. When viewed from the other side, this effect appears. Extra heavy gel medium maintains its shape and stays as you apply it. This is regular medium. 
This spreads and dries, creating a softer effect. It's easier to make a wave effect with this. This is the white glue I use. It becomes transparent when dry. I will finish the remaining effect with this. While these are drying, let's continue with the afterburner effect. I've already completed one. Now let's do the other one. I simply use kitchen stretch film for this job. Yes, it's that simple. You can enrich the effect with various paints, but I want to keep it simple and leave it like that. Let's make the change that occur on the water due to the effect of air flow. I first used extra heavy medium to create texture. This is what I will use. It will probably be hard to find. You can use Feature or Pledge Floor Polish or X22 instead. I applied white acrylic paint with dry brush and set the base aside to dry. Let's finish the model.
As I said, you can find a more elegant method to fix the model and conduct electricity. Let's complete the diorama. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you in the next video.